In this video, let's look at SAP Lumera and how to connect Lumera to the ERP SIM using SAP HANA. So I've opened up Lumera and this version of Lumera is version 1.3 and I think there's a newer version that's available uh, and there's some compatibility issues so try to get the newest version. The newest one I have is on the O drive for you to uh, install if you like and it should be good for a year. To connect to the ERP SIM and, and HANA, we'll do File, New, and you can either connect, and this connects in real time, but since you're not um, playing the game right now, that doesn't make much sense. Uh, this lets you download and then save it, and then you it's uh, a lot faster, but it's not dynamic. So we're going to download and I've already done this a few times. Here's some of the things that you can download. And uh, I'll just do next. And you want to choose the HANA platform. And then this is the server port. It's hana.ucc.uwm.edu. The instance is 8. And the user is sim user. And the password is the password I gave you. It's, uh, I think it's a... Uh, 3RP SIM1, but I, the one that I've given you. And then you connect. Now you can choose one of these uh, views. Uh, there's more information if we play that manufacturing game, but we're playing logistics right now. And the last one I looked at, I believe, was the financial postings. Double check that. Well, no, I can't double check that. Let's do inventory. Next, and here is where you choose the client number. This semester it's 822. You can choose which team. I'll choose team D. Then you do OK. And then uh, go ahead and select all these uh, dimensions. And now you can uh, choose different types of uh, charts that you can create different visualizations for. Uh, maybe I could do a heat map of uh, storage location and material description. And so now I want to keep track of um, the opening uh, balance. Uh, what I'd be interested in is over time uh, those those balances. So maybe I could instead of that I'd put in this time and change it to days or something like that. Get a, get a heat map of the uh, different inventory balances uh, over time. So that's a that's a chart you could create. This. Uh, Time needs to be reworked if you want to do predictive analytics. So if I try to um, predict some um, amount of uh, inventory uh, in the in the future, and I go to today for some reason I want to predict this. If I go to predictive calculation, it doesn't like that. And the reason it doesn't like that is because this round is a text and this day is a text and the period is a is a number and you want everything to be numbers. So you, you would need to create a new time dimension uh, using everything as numbers. And you can do that by showing these hidden dimensions and then they appear and then you've got uh, um, uh, like day, that's you want to convert that to an integer or a, or a number, either either one, but an integer would be fine. Then with those new, um, you you would create a, a daytime hierarchy. And this needs to be uh, probably period, and then uh, day is day. If that works. So 
so that kind of worked. That would be better. And I don't think it's going to let me do the, the SAB predictive because it doesn't have enough uh, data points. So it's missing like one or two data points. Uh, but that's how you can uh, try to do some predictions. It's not a very good prediction. It's got all these zeros in here. So play around with these. Uh, you can add more data sets and as you add data sets, they uh, will appear. I'm going to cancel this. They will appear here and then you can you can choose them or they'll appear here and you can uh, choose them also and you can link data sets together and um, these types of things. But play around with this, come up with some useful visualizations, maybe demand per day, that'd be a good one, net income. Oh, and on Moodle, there is a, well, there's a link, uh, this ERP SIM for SAP HANA, that tells you all sorts of different things you can do in Lumira with ERP SIM. So you should look at that and it'll talk about different calculated fields you could create for say net income and it has some useful visualizations. So I'm going to I'm going to go over this in class but you should look at it as well. And also when I give when I post things like this in Moodle you should look at them. They could be helpful for you on a test or a quiz. And here is a help screen for Lumera. Uh, this is on forecasting, but there's, um, this is all the help. So that's posted also.